Hey, what's up? Welcome to Neon Motions, and in this After Effects tutorial, we'll be creating this rainbow race effect. It's a very simple effect. Let's get started by uh, creating a new composition with uh, 1080 by 1920. So this is a vertical comp size and suitable for Instagram stories uh, vertical video. As long as you fit everything in the center area, you'll be able to copy it up very easily for maybe square and for other formats like Instagram and Facebook. Just control Y, create a new solid, comp size, doesn't matter what the color is, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna right click and go to layer style. Layer style and gradient overlay. Open up gradient overlay and change the style to angle. So I'm gonna get this. Control Shift C. Gonna pre-compose this. Call this my angle angle gradient move all attributes to a new composition okay and i'm gonna go back to my main comp let's just rename our main comp as rainbow race okay so angle gradient gonna look for color rama i have color rama here and straight away i get my rainbow like effect so what is happening is that color rama is taking uh, a range of colors here in the color wheel that we can set choose from a set of presets here or we can edit it as we want and they're going to map it to white to gray to black following this circle this color wheel here and then we have uh, repetitions so how many times we want this to cycle and then we have an interpolate palette so this is interesting. Uh, so what we're going to do is to make it spin, we're going to go to our input phase here. going to hot click on phase shift and do time times 360. 360 is one full circle and divided by 10. 10 is my comb length, uh, my comb duration. Or I also can use this comb dot duration and you will take whatever your comp duration is so it goes all the way to the end here and and it loops one thing that i prefer to do is to change this for, from whatever whole number it is to less 0 0.1 so 0 0.9 or 1.9 2.9 uh, it seems to seems to look better seems to look better uh, where this this area doesn't have a lot more uh, you can try and see if it's better for you so okay so if you want to change there's a lot of presets here well actually what i prefer to do is to set the color to something that looks good and then use uh, maybe a hue saturation to change it to, to another color here Because the color here is a bit uh, troublesome to edit, it's quite hard to change colors around. So if you have a preset, uh, a set of colors that you already know what you want, then you can slowly take the time to change it one by one. I found that it's quite troublesome. And yeah, and for the last part, I just took uh, just took a unicorn from this website here. Just Google unicorn emoji. Uh, one one more interesting effect that you can use is a uh, tool. Distort twirl and let's change the angle up here. I think one cycle is fine. 28 looks good. And then we can scale this up. And you can scale it up and then see how it looks like. Cool and I I hope this uh hope this is interesting to to see how Colorama is uh, actually able to give you very interesting results like that.